We've, we've done all the preparatory work now, so now we move on to the most disruptive phase. Uh, we'll be taking the permanent traffic lights out and putting temporary traffic lights in. The cables, ductwork and everything else has been in for 25 years. Normally we try and refurbish after 15 years. If we don't refurbish them now, the cables will fail, the traffic lights will fail, and we'll end up doing works here in an unplanned way. So trying to plan these works, do them correctly, and do them in an appropriate and, and a time-sensitive manner. Now, the temperature traffic lights don't work as efficiently as the permanent ones. That will cause disruption, and also the belay enclosures. To try and keep disruption to a minimum, we'll be actually using a new set of temperature traffic lights, which are all linked together, which can best replicate the way the current traffic lights actually work. First time we've used these, hopefully it will try and reduce congestion. As always, we'll try and do our best to minimise disruption, but delays are inevitable, and we do ask for the patience of the general public in, in doing these works. And if they can avoid using the junction, please do so. And please look at our website, where our webcams will show you the current state of traffic in the city centre.